Hey, beautiful people of the internet. My name is Ryan. Welcome to the recap for day 15 of the hunt for Red October. I'm out walking a little bit around Broad Ripple. It's sunny, but it's very chilly, hence the hoodie. Hope that you all are doing well. We, uh, the big thing I have to recap is that we did our second live stream last night. So, other than an absolutely tiny little technical difficulty at the end of the live stream, uh, like two hours in, it was a lot of fun. I had a blast. Um, yeah, I hope you guys did too. We had some new people, we had some of the old people, had good numbers, hung out, read some books. Um, actually, if you were there last night, you heard me read 34 pages of material. My day was good because I got 74 total pages. I got 40 in the Pale King and then um, another 34 during the live stream, part of which was the Pale King. So, uh, it was a good day. 74 overall pages. I'm averaging just under 65 pages a day, halfway through October. And a cool thing actually happened this morning, the day after uh, day 15. So at the start of day 16, I just hit my 1,000th page for the month of October. So that's pretty cool considering I probably read about uh, 400 total pages last month. <laughs> I know I keep saying this, but I'm so thankful for this, uh, for this challenge. So what else is going on? I actually did the math. I'm probably about four days away from finishing the Pale King. So uh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, we'll probably do a video, a special video specifically for the Pale King once I'm done. Um, I think it deserves its own video and there's been a lot of interest from you guys. So we are continuing to do the live stream on Mondays. Um, I've had enough fun. I'll just show up with a beer and bring some stuff to read and talk to you guys and answer questions. And we never have enough time to get through all of the questions or do enough reading. So I've already got some stuff lined up to read for next time. Thanks to some of the recommendations of you who are there. Hopefully next time I will bring a cup of tea so that my voice doesn't suffer. And also my phone won't, won't freak out on me and the live stream will be completely good. So <laughs> I will say I'm a little scared for the end of October just because this challenge has been so nice. I know every single day when I wake up exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna read 45 pages. I'm gonna make a video about the 45 pages that I read. I'm gonna talk to you guys in the comments about what you're reading. What's gonna happen when October is over and it's, you know, what, what, what should I make videos about? What's my schedule gonna be like? What are my goals? This has been so structured and nice and I'm a little scared for the structure to end. I'm like a little kid growing up, going out into the world without structure. I need structure. <laughs> so if you have suggestions for what, to, what should happen at the end of October, I'm all ears. On the one hand, if I'm not forced to make a video every single day, forced by my own you know, rules, I understand, uh, I can put a little bit more time into every video, kind of making sure that every second on camera is something super valuable for you guys. I don't want to waste your time ever. Um, that said, the pressure to make a video every single day is great because it there's nothing like forcing you to come up with uh, it's so easy to set aside the piece of paper and not write something or come up with something to say about what you're reading or something interesting to think about um, being forced to make a video every day is nice because it makes you consider those questions because you've got people expecting it of you but I don't know there's a happy medium out there somewhere I'm just not sure exactly yet what that is going to be so isn't it gorgeous out right now anyways that's my video for today i will see you guys tomorrow hope you uh, get some reading done let me know in the comments what you're doing so best wishes